find one of these lying around again, I swear to God, I will stop being so polite. Polite? He's like Gordon Ramsay of the music world. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and today we are watching a movie called Whiplash. This was released in 2014. Miles Teller is in it. I actually haven't seen a movie where this man acts, but he is in the main image for this movie, which I'm watching over on Netflix and he's playing some drums. So I know it's about him playing drums. I also know that Damien Chazelle directed this film. I've seen La La Land. For me, La La Land was okay. I don't particularly love musicals, couldn't stand Hamilton, and I haven't seen Les Miserables, but I'm open to it. Anyway, so I'm getting off track. We're watching Whiplash. I've heard a lot of great things about this film. People really love this film. IMDb's rating for this film is quite high. It's got an 8.5 out of 10. It is a shorter film as far as film goes. It's an hour 40. It's a drama film, but besides all of that, for the most part, I'm going into it blind. I haven't read anything about this film. I just know that it's highly rated and it's won three Oscars and it's been nominated for a bunch of awards. So I'm hoping, or at least I'm thinking, thinking that I will really enjoy this film. Before we jump into Whiplash though, I want to remind you guys about the uncut version. That's going to be over on Patreon. The link for that is in the description bar and in the pinned comments down below. You just need a copy of the film. There'll be a timer and we'll have the screen blurred so you know exactly what point I'm up to. You can have me on one screen and you can have the movie on another screen. It's a whole last thing. So come join the fun over on Patreon. And aside from Patreon, down in the description bar and the pinned comments, you can also find all my social media handles, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, discord tiktok facebook as well as my two other channels my gaming channel and my vlog channel so guys with all of that said let's jump into whiplash all right so we got ourselves a little drum boy <laughs> i think he's playing bad he's just I, he's playing too fast for me to tell that's good then because that's a skill in itself i'm sorry i'm sorry no stay hey jk simmons you know who I am? Yes, sir. You know J. I'm Jonah Jameson. Oof. That was nice. Uh, sorry, I, I asked why you stopped playing, and your version of an answer was to turn into a wind up monkey. Damn. So <laughs> no, time. I liked it. Faster. Oh my gosh. How fast he wants him to go. He left. Oopsie daisy. Forgot my jacket. <laughs> Burn. Sun got wrecked. Shaffer Conservatory of Music Fall Semester. Oh, yum. Popcorn. I like the cinemas when it's empty. Only I'm there. <laughs> Oh, it's like, he's got like a little cut on his neck. Maybe he's feeling lonely. How you feeling, man? It's been so long. Lab. Yeah, he's definitely feeling lonely. Sounds scary. Whatever they're ripping up. Like an action mystery movie, maybe. Whoops. I used to have one of those CD players. Got it for my birthday when I was like 12. I was like the happiest girl in the world. What have you been practicing? Uh oh, here comes trouble. May I? He's just like such a scary looking man though. I don't know what it is. Three, four. That was nice. Same spot. Well, you're in the first chair. Let's see if it's just because you're cute. Yep, that's why. <gasps> Drums. <gasps> drums with me. No, no, no. Other drums. Oh, there you go. He's giving him a chance. Room B16 tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Don't be late. Jesus, that's early. I hope he can make it. Mmm. -hmm. Look at the little smile on his face. Look, I don't really know how... He likes her. Would you want to go out with me? Ever? 
Oof. Please go away. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I'm just <laughs> messing with you. I'm oh, messing what? with you. What the oh, heck? <laughs> that was cruel. You want to meet me? Oh, here? okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah I will. Great. Or oh, you could pick her up. Seven o'clock? Mm-hmm. Here. 7 p.m. Monday. Oh, okay, they're meeting here. Okay. Cool. I thought they were gonna meet at the pizza place. Yay, he got a date. I'm happy for him. Three minutes late. Oh no, he woke up three minutes late. He's actually more than that. He's probably like 15 minutes late. Well, it was really early, to be fair. I probably would be late too. <laughs> Nah, it's not that bad, man. She's a go-go dancer. She could He could have gone home for like two hours and come back. You the new alternate? Yeah, I'm uh, Andrew Name. Turn the set to B flat, then I turn my pages during rehearsal. Turn my pages. Okay. Uh, not even a high hello. Oh, so that's how you tune a drum. Sorry, can you just one more time? He's super polite and sweet. I play the most symbols. Melt the Jesus, that's got to be muted <laughs> in the YouTube version. YouTube doesn't like that word. I've learned. J. Jonah Jameson's back. Oh, yeah, there he is. Does he even remember him? <laughs> They're so scared of him. They don't say a single thing. We got a squeaker today, people. Neiman, 19 years old. Isn't he cute? Uh, isn't that Neiman? All right, gang, Whiplash. Whiplash, that's the title of the movie. So this is gonna be an important composition. Wow, such discipline they all have. It's pretty impressive. Oh, I like Whiplash. Parker, that is not your boyfriend. Do not come early. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's so rude. You must have supersonic hearing. Now this one really upsets me. We have an out of tune player here. He has really good hearing. I continue, would that player care to identify himself? Wow. It's like someone murdered Maybe someone. My ears are fine. We definitely have an out of tune player. Whoever it is, this is your last chance. Oh my gosh. Now either you are deliberately playing out of tune and Who would sabotaging do that? my band. Who would do that? Or you five, six, and He's here. How nerve-wracking. Still looking down. Do you think you're out of tune? There's no bars bar down there. What are you looking at? <laughs> He's about to cry. Yes. Then why the f didn't you say so? Oh, Jesus. So I'm not going to have you cost us a competition because your mind's on a happy meal instead of <gasps> on pitch. Right Damn. Here, chair. Mets, why are you still sitting there? Get the f out. They're kids. This poor kid. They may be in college, but I, I still view them as kids. For the record, Mets was not a tune. What? But he didn't know, and that's bad enough. Wow. Wow. All right, take 10. When we get back, the squeaker's on. Is it really necessary to be that mean? The key is to just relax. Hmm. Don't worry about that's the easy. Don't worry about what the other guys are thinking. Oh, this guy has Here no idea. Is. All right, gang, whiplash. Little under tempo, okay? Neiman, just do your best. Just do your best. That's pretty generous of him. I think he's doing well so far. <gasps> What'd you do wrong? Pick it up at 17. I don't know what that means. At 17 minutes? On the 17 beat? That'd stress me out. Wow, I've heard this part like so many times now. I'm freaked out. Oh, how would you remember to do it that exact same way every single time? <gasps> uh, lucky he ducked. How are you going to do that to a student? I, I don't know. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four. One, <gasps> two, three, four. One, two, three. Was I rushing or was I dragging? Oh, I don't know. Rushing three. before he One, gets two, to the four. Rushing or dragging? Rushing. So you do know the difference. Uh. 
If you deliberately sabotage my band, I will f you like a pig. Damn! No, Jesus Christ! I didn't know they allowed cards into Schaefer. Stand that you cannot. Can you even read music? What is that? I'm literally in shock. Were you rushing or were you dragging? Oof. Oh. I'm upset. Louder! I'm upset. Louder! Holy I'm upset. You are crap. a worthless, friendless, flip little piece of shit whose mommy left daddy when she figured out he wasn't Eugene O'Neill. Whoa. And it was final father time. Say it louder! I'm upset. Literally never open up to this Start guy. He'll just use it against you. Five, six, eight. <laughs> what a scene! What an intense, crazy, shocking scene. I've never felt so bad for a character. Da, 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 da. Now that's stuck in my head. <laughs> I'm going to have nightmares about that. Practicing more. He wants this. Ooh. Ouchie. How stressful. Oh, it's like he's training. It's like he's working out. This place is nice. Yeah. This was the nice pizza place. I was thinking like a restaurant. My dad says that I have, I have trouble making eye contact. Mm. My parents like to criticize me too. <laughs> when I was growing up, my mom said I had a really big chin and that's why guys wouldn't like me. What? I was like Jay Leno, look. It's really not that bad. Your chin's very... I Nice. I think nice. her chin suits her face. I think she looks pretty. Your mom sounds insane. <laughs> I feel really homesick sometimes. Kind of me off when people pretend like they're not. Maybe I'm literally the only one. I don't know. No, I doubt that. Ooh, little feet touch. I saw that. Okay. Hey, when you're a big college kid, will you come play in my band? Oh, look at how nice you he's be being. Listen up, suckers. Damn, what a change of pace. <laughs> By a bunch of limp, sour note, flatter than their girlfriend's flexible tempo dips. Got it? Flatter one than their thing. girlfriend's, Jesus. If I ever find one of these lying around again, I swear to God, I will stop being so polite. Polite? He's it. like Gordon Ramsay of the music world. The Schaefer Conservatory Studio Band. Oh, they better get this right. Pressure is on. Oof. It's nice. He looks happy as well. I need to look at the music. Oh yeah, it's right here. <gasps> Why isn't it? <sighs> no. Find the f folder. Okay. A f janitor. You're a dumb. F Holy dumb crap! Everyone's just folder. on edge. I can't go on stage. I don't know the charts uh, by heart. Hmm. I can't. I can. It's a bit yes, sus. Maybe he purposely lost it. Well, that's what people could think. I'm really worried for him. He's had a month of practice, though. Don't rush it, baby. Don't rush it. Don't drag it either. <laughs> this is the part. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> they, they had to play so many times. Nice. Little drum roll. I think he's doing well because old mate hasn't lost it. And first place, Conservatory. Oh, there you go. Good job, guys. All the verbal abuse. It paid off. Moral of the story. <laughs> hey, touch my folder, man. <laughs> now they think he's probably done it on purpose. Tanner, what are you doing? It's core only today. I don't have time for alternates. Sure. Tanner. From the top. Wow. He's been replaced. Don't forget to turn Neiman's pages. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh, the burn. I felt that. Call me when you're back and I'll come over. Ooh. Yeah, I think he likes me more now. And his opinion means a lot to you, doesn't it? Kind of has to, so. I'm the new core drummer, so. Oh, see the middle child. Oh, hey, are you going to tell him about your game this week? Huh? Your wow. Game, huh? oh, <laughs> that really is just. <laughs> it's Carlton football. It's not even Division Two. It's Division Three. 
Yeah, say it louder for the people of the back. I'd rather die drunk, broke at 34, and have people at a dinner table talk about me than live to be rich and sober at 90 and nobody remember who I was. Ooh. What this is all about? You think you're better than us? Catch on quick, are you a model you in? Are you You think, come play with us. Four words you will never hear from the NFL. <laughs> Damn, he's on fire today. He's been holding that in, though. Rehearsal 9 p.m. sharp tonight. Kind of late. I recently stumbled across another kid in a practice room working on his double time swing. Ooh, sit up. So I'm going to give him a shot. What? Uh, you two know each other, right? Yeah. Yeah, Nassau, man. Hey, what's up, Andrew? Oh, shoot. Now, uh, all I want to do now is just uh, give you both a crack at it, all right? So, Neiman, go ahead, jump on the kit. We'll take it from the top. Now it's a competition. Okay. Has he even had time to look at the chart? He messed it up. Hey, do you mind? Huh, <laughs> wow. Okay, man, ready? Mm -hmm. Does he want to move out of his way, potentially? Perfect, Connolly. Perfect. Oh my God, you, are you serious? Thanks. That. <laughs> oh, his eyes. Why are you no, doing that? not the time, I swear to God. I can play it, okay? I said not now! I feel like he got some bad news, maybe. Is he all right? His villain arc has begun. This is why I don't think that we should be together. Whoa. And, I, and when I do spend time with you, I'm going to be thinking about drumming. I'm going to be thinking about jazz music and my charts and all that. And I mean, and we're just for those reasons, I'd rather just, I mean, you know, break it off clean. I get it, though. He's young. She's young. It'll be all right. I want to be one of the greats. You know I would stop you from doing that. You know that for a fact. I mean, true. Yes. She's got a good point. You won't be able to give me the time of day because you have bigger things to pursue. That's exactly my point. Wow. What's wrong with you? <laughs> You're right. We should not be dating. Oof. The way she said it made it sound a lot worse. Oh my god, he needs to calm down. Whew. Like a boxer. I'm watching a boxing film. <laughs> He's punching the drums, that's for damn sure. This is ugly. Oh, that was jarring. Sorry, we have a new player. Yeah, something's happened to him. Guys, just put your instruments down for a minute. I reckon he's got cancer or like his wife has cancer or something's happened. A scared, skinny kid. I saw a drive in him and I put him in studio band. That's nice. Marsalis made him third trumpet at Lincoln Center. A year later, he was first. And that's who you're listening to now. Oh, inspirational. Was Sean Casey. Was Sean Casey. I found out this morning that Sean... Killed himself? Died yesterday. Oh, died. In a car accident. Oof. And I wanted you guys to know he was a beautiful player. Wow, the respect he had for Sean. Damn, he's crying. He has feelings. Plot twist. It's not not quite right, Connolly. Um <laughs> <He's try laughs> maybe now's the time for Neiman to earn the part. <laughs> nope, I guess not. <laughs> What if they all suck? What then? Mother Ooh, okay. They all suck. He's very hard to please. We will stay here for as long as it takes until one of you can play in time. Okay, we're saying that word now too. <laughs> Not the tempo. Hmm. We're gonna stay here until I find a drummer who can play in time. It's always the drummers. Oh wow, it's 11.20. Sweating. The fastest you can play, you worthless. <laughs> no wonder mommy ran out on you. Kid. He keeps saying that. Just play faster than you give hand jobs, will you please? Damn. One, two, one. Don't tell him anything about you. Go with the Irish Mick Patty Cracker now. You know, you actually do look quite a bit like <laughs> a Oh my so god. He's getting tired. Get up! They're all bleeding. Holy crap. That's been your problem the whole time, the seat height. So now you have it, right? They're never going to play right with this amount of pressure on them. Neiman. Ugh. Plus they're bleeding. They need time. It's time to finally bring this home. What do you say? Oh my gosh, I'm just stressed out. This is going to be shit too. Faster! Maybe he's doing it. Oh no, the chair. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm really stressed. 
Oh my god. This man is gonna show up as my sleep paralysis demon, okay? He's gonna come up while I'm sleeping. Master! Start yelling at me. Oh my god. He's sweating, he's bleeding, and he's not even a boxer. Oh god. Shared trauma. Besties for life. You weren't a part. Oh my god. Okay, we can start now. Oh! They're still gonna continue after that? It's like 2 a.m. He needs a break. Hey, excuse me, uh, you know where the cabs are? No, you gotta call the cabs. Oh, he's gonna be late. Rental car. Oh no, he forgot something. Oh, damn it. He's gotten mean himself. Connelly's playing the part. Yeah, like, Connelly's playing my part. Who? It's my part, and I decide who to lend it to. Usually it's somebody that has sticks. Oh, he's forgotten his sticks. I Look, I can use Ryan's sticks. It's Neiman, you lost the part. No, I didn't. Look, you can't Ooh. become a fucking hey, why best don't player. you just back off? Get the fuck off, Johnny Utah. Turn my pages. Ooh. Hey, you would have cut me by now. Try me, you weasel. Wow, he's got a lot of balls right now. You choose. That's my part. I'll be on your stage. <laughs> he hates that fruit. guy. Damn, his insults. Nobody else stands up to him. I, at least we haven't seen. I know, I got locked in my car. It's fine. I got locked in my car. He's got so many excuses. Okay, look, why don't you just tell Fletcher that I'm coming, you uh, motherfucker? Oh my god. Oh, oh, holy sh. He ain't coming now, that's for damn sure. Oh. What in the heck, dude? Call the ambulance. Why is anyone helping? This is how his ex-student, Sean, also died. He was being stressed out by J. No, John okay, and Jameson. He's more stressed about playing in the band than almost dying. Uh, they're not gonna let you play, dude. You look a mess. It's done. Oh, shoot. No, they're just starting. <gasps> oh, my God. I'm just gonna let him play. He's, like, shaking, too. He's gonna f*** up. He's bleeding on the drum set. I mean, that's not new, though. <laughs> Is he crying? Oh, crap. Oh, I'm stressed, you guys. I'm stressed. Oh, oh, this is too painful to watch. Oof. Oof. Big oof. This is so bad. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Dude! Oh my god! Holy crap! You Fletcher! You! Get off! Casey! Mmm! Does the name Sean Casey mean anything to you? Last month he hanged himself in his apartment. Oh, so it wasn't a car accident. Sean suffered from anxiety and depression. His mother claims this started during his time as Fletcher's student. Oh wow. Checks out. What? Do they want to make sure that Terrence Fletcher is never allowed to do this to another student? Wow, Dis oh, he's dismissed. That's his letter of dismissal. Did he ever intentionally inflict emotional distress? Yeah, <laughs> you, you could say that. Do you think that I would let him put my son through hell and then just walk away scot free? I think he's learned a lot from Fletcher. But, like, Sean probably thought the same thing, and then it got too hard for him. I think you can be firm without being harsh. Just tell me what to say. Just tell me what to say. Hmm. Maybe Fletcher saw he was bleeding and was like, I'm not going to make the same mistake that I did with Sean Casey and just let him go because of that. I'm going to message his ex. Oh. How did I know? Now that he has all this free time... <laughs> He's like, amateur. Let me guess, she's on another date with someone. Oh. Whoops. Completely got that wrong. Terrence Fletcher. So now he can be the critique. Starts yelling, not my tempo! 
Oh, he's on piano. Live jazz is beautiful. I went and saw a couple of live jazz shows when I was in New York City. It was really nice. People got really into dancing at some point too. Never been to a live jazz show in Australia though. Hmm. He seems really relaxed. <laughs> Feeling the music. <sighs> he saw him. Hey. Oh, awkward. <laughs> Schaefer anymore. Oh, it worked. Mm. I don't know why anybody would have anything other than peaches and cream to show <laughs> me as a mystery. <laughs> I know I made enemies. Yep. They got me opening in a couple of weeks with a pro band. He's so calm. I was there to push people beyond what's expected of them. Yeah, that he did. Otherwise, we're depriving the world of the next Louis Armstrong. I see his point. There are no two words in the English language more harmful than good job. <laughs> wow. You go too far and you discourage the next Charlie Parker from ever becoming Charlie Parker. The next Charlie Parker would never be discouraged. Right. The truth is, Andrew, I never really had a Charlie Parker. Oh. What about Sean? The band I'm leading for JVC. My drummer is not cutting it. <laughs> Does he really want to be yelled at again? I need somebody who really knows those charts. What about Ryan Conley? <laughs> All Connolly ever was to me was incentive for you. Oh. Tanner? Tanner switched to pre-med. Okay. I guess he got discouraged. <laughs> so he used Connolly. They're just pawns in a game for him. But he's, is he ever going to tell him about the lawsuit? Hey, uh, Nicole, it's Andrew. I actually have this show. Maybe you'd want to go. And just I wonder how long it's been, though. Um, I, Ooh. I was going to check with my boyfriend. Ooh. Think he's like jazz music, yeah, I mean, not for everybody. Oh, dude, you lost your chance. It's just the way it is. <laughs> he's getting prepared. Looks very fancy. Oh, his dad's here. On the other hand, if you drop the ball, you might be looking for a new line of work. All right, let's have fun. It's a lot calmer. Didn't swear once. So cool. Such a large audience. Is he all right? You think I'm stupid? I know it was you. Oh. He's screwing him over. Oh, no. And we're going to do some old standards for you, but first we're going to start out with a new tune. Oh, he just needs to leave. He's going to destroy his career. What a petty mofo. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh. He's just so happy. Oh. Why is he staying? He should have just left as soon as he heard that. This is the first time he's listening to sh music and he's happy to hear it <sighs> uh, no real applause there yeah i guess maybe you don't have it damn i guess he needs to find another career path because he couldn't swing it without knowing it oh his dad's good i guess this wouldn't have happened if his dad oh what doing? wait what is he doing What? What is he doing? Is he gonna try and swing it without knowing it? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. He's like, nah, cue right back. <laughs> I kind of like this. <laughs> it's, it's just like petty bullshit. This is the song he was supposed to play before his car accident. He's finally having his moment with this song. <laughs> oh, cool. I'm glad his ex didn't come. The first part was just tragic. 
Why is he smiling? I don't... Oh no, I see what he's doing. Is he not making him stop? He's just letting it go on? Or is this what it's supposed to be like? It's going on for quite some time. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is gonna make or break him. Andrew, what are you doing, man? I'll cue you. I'll cue you? Okay, he's he's agreeing. Wow. I'm just surprised he's going on for so long. It looks like he's wanking right now. Now you can't stop seeing it. <laughs> now that I've said it. What's he going to do next? Everyone's just standing and watching. His dad is just like, what is going on? Oh, he likes it. He's now on his side, it seems. Wow. Terrence had some respect for him. Wow. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Let's go. Play whiplash. This is so damn intense. The other band members just like watching and like, I don't know what I'm witnessing here. This was not rehearsed. Oh, he's bleeding now. Holy crap. Oh, he's happy. Wow. This movie was so intense, so anxiety invoking, but also extremely thought provoking. It asks us all the question, what is the price of greatness? Because Fletcher, as crazy and as cruel and as almost psychotic as he is, I mean, he caused a kid of his to ultimately end his life. So that's why I use the word psychotic, but also at the same time, he did grieve for Sean. So maybe psychotic's not the right word. He just seemed psychotic during a lot of the scenes. Anyway, going off a tangent, but as crazy as Fletcher is, he would stop at nothing to try and find the greatest jazz musician in his band. And he went out of his job description. He was actually doing more than what was required of him clearly by staying for longer periods of time with the band to practice, especially during that scene where he made Andrew and the two other drummers go again and again and again until Andrew finally got it right. And that took hours and they finished at 2 a.m. So he's working overtime. He's training them too much. He's working them too much. He's stressing them out too much to the point where Andrew he gets into a car accident and he's not stressed about the car accident. He's just stressed about making that performance on time. So all of that is really, really telling and it's quite scary the lengths people go to to reach the top. I think J.K. Simmons was the perfect role for this. Obviously, I know J.K. Simmons playing J. Jonah Jameson in the Spider-Man series. And as scary as J. Jonah Jameson was in that, he was 50 million times scarier in his role as Fletcher. Fletcher was just, he scared me. <laughs> He scared me and I, I'm not even Andrew, okay? Andrew starts off as this kid who's quite shy. People walk all over him. He doesn't really know his place in the world. He doesn't even know how to ask out a girl properly. And then he almost becomes like Fletcher during that scene where he was around all of his family members. Albeit he's probably been walked all over by all of these family members and he probably just cracked. But that scene was just a little taste showing us how much Fletcher is sort of influencing him as a person as well, not just in his music. He's not just sharpening him as a drummer, but he's also changing his personality. He's also becoming harder because of Fletcher. That scene and then the super cold breakup scene as well. I feel like that was all Fletcher's influence. Even his reaction after the car accident, he didn't even put his health first. He put 
music first. And that last scene where Fletcher revealed that he always knew that it was Andrew that was the cause of him being literally cancelled, because that's what happened. He was literally cancelled. I was like, holy crap, what a manipulative man. Andrew's ruined his career. This is a very petty revenge plot, and he's put him here because he doesn't know this song and he's obviously going to make a mess of everything ruin his career and then they'll be even right but he didn't stop and that was a test in itself and i think he's finally found his protege he's finally found his charlie parker or what he thinks could be the next charlie parker obviously he doesn't want to be the next charlie parker he wants to be the next buddy rich but regardless they've found each other and i think they could make a really good partnership. I mean, I've seen a lot of boxing movies recently and it's never really easy. The boxing trainer relationship is pretty tough. It's tough because it makes the boxer great. It has to be tough because it could potentially save that boxer's life. Obviously the stakes aren't as high in this situation, but it's the same kind of concept. This man is essentially his trainer and Andrew is the boxer not literally but he needs to be tough in order to make him the best the greatest and the sharpest drummer that there is in New York but also the world it wasn't even Andrew that wanted to get lawyers involved that was his dad Andrew still respected Fletcher as crazy as he was he still respected him. He didn't want anything to do with this lawsuit. So the respect was always there. But at the end, Andrew actually gains the respect of Fletcher because what he did was so crazy, just as crazy as Fletcher. He's out here actually performing in front of a live audience and he goes ahead and does the solo that he does and he just keeps going. It was so intense i was on the edge of my seat it was a really great movie not the typical kind of movie that i'd watch because i'm obviously not a musician i'm not a drummer so this was kind of way out of the field of possibilities for movies for me to watch but i'm really glad that i watched it because it taught me a lesson in perseverance that was the moral of this story perseverance and determination and willpower as well. I thought it was a really great story and the music was incredible. The scenes were very intense, but nothing is as stressful as Uncut Gems. So I, it was definitely not as anxiety invoking as Uncut Gems, a movie I also reacted to last year. This wasn't as stressful, so I felt fine at the end. I actually felt happy for the two main characters. So yeah, guys, those are all my thoughts on Whiplash. Let me know what you thought of this Oscar award-winning movie. Three times, by the way. Holy crap. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help my channel out. The uncut version can be found over on Patreon. You just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me. I could be on one screen and the movie could be on another screen. There'll be a timer and the screen will be blurred so you know where I'm up to and you can also find all my social media handles Instagram Twitter Twitch Discord TikTok Facebook all of that down below in the description bar in the pinned comments as well as my two other channels my gaming channel and my vlog channel so thank you so much for joining me on this video take care of yourselves guys and I'll see you in the next one bye everyone